guys, it's Devin. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a skincare type video today. So we reached 25,000 subscribers last week, which is so exciting. That's been something that I've been working towards for a long time. So I'm so happy we finally got there. And I want to do a little giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned to the end of this video for instructions. And I will let you know how you can win a $50 Amazon gift card. And if you ever have ideas for videos, please um, message me or leave it in the comment section below. Follow us at, at Drake's Nest too. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So I just recently turned 33, you guys. Ah, what? So I turned 33 and I've always been super interested in skincare. That's been like a second love of mine. Um, but I've been more into it since I've reached my 30s and more researched into it. Um... I know I've discussed it before on my channel, but I'm not really a um, Botox filler type girl. Not that I have anything against it. You do you, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but I'm more natural in that sense, and um, I always like just taking care of my skin the best that I can and finding ways to stay youthful. <laughs> Everybody has different skin, different insecurities, different lives, different budgets. Um, so I understand that. So this is what I do. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it'll work for you. I am not an esthetician. I'm a cosmetologist. <laughs> so I've worked with estheticians and um, talked to many, but I am not an esthetician by trade at all. I'm just a big Google researcher and I like to try different products. Um, with that being said, I also am kind of a minimalist I'm not going to say minimalist because I don't use one or two products, but um, I don't have like a 20 step skincare routine. <laughs> I like to um, do my skincare at night and be done in five minutes. I'm not going to be in the bathroom for 30 minutes. Um, that's just me. So I'm going to show you guys what products that I'm using, new products that I've been enjoying, and yeah, let's just get into it. So I am pretty... Um, low maintenance when it comes to cleanser. I do do the double cleanse. I use a jojoba oil on my skin at night. I am a lover of jojoba oil. I don't think I will ever not use this. I say jojoba, maybe it's jojoba, but I say jojoba. Um, but I use this stuff like water, like <laughs> I'm obsessed with it for a couple years. I read an article a long time ago that talked about jojoba being the closest oil to our natural skin oil, so um, it's really good for sensitive skin, so I've been using it ever since. I use it on my face, I use it on my body, I use it on my hands, like everything. So when I remove my makeup at night, I take like two pumps of jojoba oil. I got this at Walmart. I usually, I like this little bottle. So I bought a giant one from Vitacost, I believe, and I just refill this one whenever it gets empty just because this fits well in my medicine cabinet and I go through this so quickly. Um, so I take a couple pumps, rub it all over my face gently to um, kind of break up my makeup. Um, and then I use a micellar water or sometimes just a damp washcloth to wipe that all away. And then I've been using Cetaphil um, I also use CeraVe. This is just what they happened to have last time. They didn't have the CeraVe, so I got this. And I've been using this on and off since I was a teenager. I had some breakouts um, in probably senior year of high school, and they weren't cystic acne or big breakouts, but I got little tiny breakouts all over my skin. So I went to the dermatologist, and he actually recommended Cetaphil. So ever since, kind of on and off through my 20s and now 30s I've used this but this is a very gentle cleanser it's really good for sensitive skin CeraVe is very similar I think I might actually prefer CeraVe a little bit more to this one but whatever they have so I wash my face then with this so the new products that I've been adding to my holy grail products that I love um, I've been doing a lot of research on um, retinols and I've tried a couple different ones one I tried a while ago was a French brand but I think it was too strong for my skin um, I have sensitive, uh, very fair <laughs> skin, so it gets red very easily, which is probably good. It helps me see when something's a little bit too much for it. Um, but I was doing research, or, research on retinols that are good for beginners or people with sensitive skin for your first retinol, and I came across this company, um, Avene. I believe it's a French brand, um, and it is 0.1 retinol. I'm gonna, all the products that I'm mentioning, I will link down below if you're interested in just the ones that I 
purchased. So this one is more of an expensive product for me. I tend to not spend a lot of money on beauty products. This was about $60, I believe. Um, I do not use it every day. I use this maybe four nights a week. Um, and I like it because when I put it on, I can, f I do feel it. Um, it's like a tiny tingle or sting, um, but it's very mild. Um, so I know it's working, but it doesn't irritate my skin at all. So I let this seep in and then I top with none other than <laughs> jojoba oil because <laughs> that's what I do. Um, and I gently press the jojoba oil into my face and then I forgot to bring in my Walita skin food, but um, I put Walita skin food um, on top when I go to bed. So I look very greasy and oily <laughs> when I go to bed, but it's very moisturizing. We'll eat a skin food. It's a very thick cream. Um, so that's what I do at nighttime. That's pretty much it. So it's pretty simple. And I have noticed um, my skin has been looking really good since I've been using this. It's been about a month, I believe, that I've had this. Um, one thing that I've added recently that's new is the vitamin C um, serum from La Roche-Posay. I got this at Target. This was about $25, I wanna say, and it's 10% vitamin C. Um, I follow this dermatologist on Instagram and I've watched her on YouTube. Her name is Dr. Shireen. Oh, I can't remember her last name. I'll post her in the description box, but I think she's around my age, but she has beautiful skin. Um, she does do some like cosmetic procedures um, I believe as well. Like I think she does Botox and stuff. Um, so I'm sure that helps with the fine lines and wrinkles, but she does also recommend tons of different varieties of products and price ranges, which I really appreciate. And, um, she had a whole video about vitamin C serums and her favorites. So I could link that as well. I don't think La Roche-Posay was actually on the list, but she had some ones that were similar price range. So vitamin C serum, I've been using this in the morning um, before my makeup uh, and I again press it into my skin. I don't use it every morning. It's probably again like four mornings I rotate when I do the retinol because I do have sensitive skin and I noticed when I was using, was using both products, one every night and one every morning, it was um, really drying me out. So I now rotate this. Um, so the night that I use retinol, I don't use this in the morning, and the night that I don't use the retinol, I do use this in the morning, if that makes sense. Um, so I let this seep into my skin, and then, what do I do? I put jojoba <laughs> oil on before I do my makeup. And I also use, this is a new one, but I've used this before, and I'm, my one that I currently have is going to run out soon, is the Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer with SPF 50. So I put this on over it, because when you are using a retinol and a vitamin C serum, you have to make sure you're using an SPF. That's a must, so buy a good SPF. This one is in the moisturizer. Um, in the summertime, I probably would have one separately as an SPF, like separate from my moisturizer, but in the winter time I feel like this is fine. And I like this, this is for sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate me at all and it's fragrance free. A lot of the products that I use, I try to avoid fragrance. I know fragrance is nice to have, it smells nice, it feels luxurious, but usually it's not actually good for your skin. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for um, products. Uh, but now I'm going to talk about this, even though it is fragrant, but it's naturally fragranced. So um, this is not for your skin, but I wanted to mention this company because one of my best friends growing up, she was actually my maid of honor, uh, created this skincare um, line called Olive and Eve, Olive and Eve Apothecary. Now she sells it on Etsy and it's a small business, so she makes them per order from scratch. Um, and this one is vanilla and cacao and it's hand and body shea butter. So it's shea butter. And she makes them herself by hand and the ingredients are amazing and when I tell you guys this smells delicious <laughs> it smells like you can literally eat it it smells so good so I use this all over my body and I wore it the other day to work um, on my neck and on my chest and I just sprayed on top of it my Pacifica um, Indian vanilla I believe it's called uh, perfume and I had so many people, I think it was the combination of the scent, but so many people were like, oh my goodness, you smell like a cupcake. <laughs> like you smell so good. So definitely go check out her shop, show her some love. 
Um, her name is Heidi. She's amazing. She also has an Instagram as well. Um, but love this stuff. Last but not least, oh, actually two things. I know I've mentioned this before, but this is my favorite lip balm ever. And I put this on every night and every morning before I do my makeup. It's Vanilla, Van Vanilla Rose Lip Balm by Soothing Touch with organic cacao and shea butters. Apparently I love shea butters. Um, I buy these things in bulk. I literally like have seven by my bed stand that some of them are not unopened and I just use them all the time. I discovered this maybe five years ago visiting my mom in South Carolina um, and I bought it on a whim because my lips are dry and I've been sold ever since. It's the only chapstick I will, well chapstick. It's only the, the only lip balm I will use now. I love this. I use it daily, every day. I'm not really a lipstick lip gloss girl. This is my jam. Last but not least, this is something new that I've gotten into. It's called, I'm going to say it wrong, Gua Sha, I think. Um, and I recently discovered it on TikTok, actually. It's facial massage. It's supposed to be really good for your, your lymphatic system. Um, this one woman on TikTok, she has a whole TikTok um, channel, I guess it's called. If I can link a TikTok or her name, I will. Um, but she does different facial, facial massages, either with her hands, with a roller, with the gua sha stone. Um, that is just, they say it's like Botox replacement. So it's supposed to be really good for your skin, but also your facial muscles and keeping them healthy and toned and lifted. So I bought this one off of Amazon. I did a cup. I did some research for a while on the diff There's so many different shapes you can buy. This is what mine looks like. So I liked it because it had this dip shape. It had the longer shape, the shorter one and a ridged one. So they're all different. The ones that I've seen and not all of them have all four of those. This one is from the brand um, Illumina Beauty. It wasn't expensive. I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, you just have to keep it really clean. I keep it in the box so that it doesn't break because I imagine it's like a thin stone. It would break. But um, I don't want to like massage my skin because I have makeup on right now. But I don't do this every night. I've been doing it like three times a week when I'm in the mood <laughs> to do it because it takes a little bit more time. But it's basically like facial massage movements to like tone and massage your skin. Um, you have to like hold it flat as you massage. You do your whole face um, in the upward movement um, and your neck for um, draining like toxins and excess water and stuff. So look into it. It's kind of interesting. I just find it fascinating. And I absolutely believe in massage and pressure points and that kind of stuff for health and beauty and skin. And it's part of your skincare routine and keeping your skin healthy and tight and looking youthful and, um, you know, just taking care of yourself. That's more what's important to me. So I've been trying that. I don't want to give any kind of tutorial on that because I am still practicing and a student and trying to figure out myself how to do it. Um, but I just wanted to throw that out there because that is a new thing that I've been doing. So that's it. That's my chant. That's my, so that's it. That's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys use for your skincare. If you guys have Holy Grail products as well, leave it in the comment section below. Um, if you guys have been trying retinols or vitamin C serums or anything like that, if you've tried facial massage, massage, please let me know because um, I'd just be interested to find out if you guys have been doing it, if you've been enjoying it, if you like it, that kind of thing. So about that Amazon gift card, um, in order to win, you need to be following us on at Drake's Nest on Instagram, as well as being subscribed here to our YouTube. I want you to comment down below uh, a little bit about yourself, how long you've been following us, how you found us, and I'm just going to be choosing at random or maybe have my husband choose at random and then we will contact you. So make sure you have a way of me com contacting you by like leaving your um, Instagram or something so that we can contact you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for helping us to get to 25,000 subscribers. I hope to hear from you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.